Wow. Today was wild in the sports world. Let me tell you that. And it's crazy. It's a Sunday from Blockbuster NFL Trades. Game 7 between the Clippers and the Mavs. And Logan Paul fighting Floyd Money Mayweather. It was a pretty crazy day. Let's start off with the Blockbuster trade of the day of Julio Jones to the Tennessee Titans. In exchange for just a 2022 second round draft pick and a 2023 fourth round selection. That's a steal in my opinion. The Titans lost two of their top pass catchers in free agency as wide receiver Corey Davis signed with the New York Jets and tight end Junu Smith signed with the New England Patriots. Jones has been subject of trade conversation over the past two months as Atlanta tries to remedy its salary cap situation, which is at a big struggle. All questioning was put to rest on May 24th, though, when Jones straight up came out and said, I'm out of there on the Undisputed show. The Falcons drafted Jones 6 overall in 2011. He has been the standout wide receiver ever since in the league as he leads the NFL with 58 100-yard receiving games over the past 10 seasons. The Titans as a team had 50 over that span. Jones, who is the Falcons' career leader in catches with 848 and yards with 12,896 and is second to Roddy White in touchdown receptions with 63. His 95.5 receiving yards per game average is the best per game average in NFL history. The Tennessee offense is going to be pretty scary next year and will definitely be a problem in the AFC with Ryan Tannehill under center. Derrick Henry, the scary back from Derrick Henry, 2,000-yard rusher this past season behind him. And A.J. Brown, always a solid for the team. He's been their number one guy. Julio Jones will now take on that role. Uh, and But they, they will both be solid receivers out wide. And that's an offense destined for success. The Titans faced eight defenders in the box of 23.1% of their snaps last season, more than any other team in the NFL. That's because defenses, they geared up for the most scary guy on the field in Derrick Henry, who had 2,027 rushing yards last season. Now if they try and load up in the box with Henry, you can toss it up out to Julio or AJ for a solid pass game and then come right back at them with Henry as soon as they try and stop that. It's the perfect combination. I'm looking forward to watching Tennessee. They'll be a fun team to watch, and they will definitely be competitive in this AFC race. On to that Game 7 I was mentioning between in what has been a wild series between the Clippers and the Mavericks, where each team has yet to win a game at home. The first time the road team has won six games in a series in NBA history. Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, and the rest of the championship hopeful Los Angeles Angeles Clippers, correct me, who have to make it out of the West before they even think about a championship, were looking to change that trend and get out of the first round. Luka Magic continued to be a challenge early, scoring 19 points in the first quarter alone, showing why he deserved, deserved to be in this game and that he lives for these moments. But Luca couldn't do it all, and then ended up trailing the star, uh, tra- trailing the star-studded Clippers by eight at the break. However, the Mavs outscored the Clippers 19 to six to open up the third and take an 81 to 76 lead. But when it's Game Seven and you got Kawhi Leonard on your side, it's gonna be hard to lose. He wasn't going to let that slide as he took control and got the Clips en route to a victory on the biggest run of the game, outscoring the Mavs 24-4 to go up 100-85. Defensively, Leonard came up with a big block and Mon helped c- contain Doncic, who had the Mavs' only points of the over the end of the third. That stretch does not deny the greatness of Doncic in the game with his 46 points, 14 assists, and 7 rebounds in a Game 7 to lead the 5th seeded Mavs who have yet to win a playoff series since capturing the NBA championship in 2011, which we know Mark Cuban, the owner, had an incredible time building up this team uh, back in 2010 with Nurk winning that uh, with Dirk winning that championship, 
and uh, but he has his work cut out for him now in the next decade for him this offseason as he's going forward to try and get another star to coincide with Luka in Dallas to and uh, to push forward this organization in this in the right direction offensively Leonard was just consistent as always we know what he brings to the table but especially in this series where he be- became just the fourth player in postseason history to have at least 200 total points while shooting at least 60 percent from the field uh, in a single series that la- the last player to do such a feat was a center in one of the greatest centers of all time in Shaquille O'Neal of the 2000s Lakers. Uh, but the Mavs lost to the Clippers in six games of the first round in last year's bubble in Florida. It's tough when you have the same rival, and obviously you don't want to lose that one again, Donjic said after the game. It was a great back-and-forth series where stars showed out their skills and pros and, and props to Luka once again, who fought through nerve damage in his neck to keep in full contention with this high-caliber Clipper squad, who I now believe, after seeing this perseverance, will be have a fighting chance to make it out of the West. But my favorites right now are those hot Phoenix Suns who just took down the reigning champion Los Angeles Lakers. So now we'll head to the boxing ring, ding, 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 fight night on a Sunday. That sounds kind of strange. Well, that it was kind of strange in of itself, the fight was, with social media sensation Logan Paul taking on one of the greatest fighters of all time in one of the most lopsided bouts you would ever see in Floyd, Money, Mayweather, in a highly anticipated exhibition bout. It was announced before the fight that it, it, both fighters went the distance. There would be no winner, and there would be no judges. No winner would be announced. Well, Logan Paul, yeah, that YouTuber Logan Paul lasted eight rounds with Floyd Mayweather. That is impressive in of itself. Obviously, Mayweather was clearly the better fighter, as we expected him in the fight. But Paul utilized his huge height and weight advantage to lean on Mayweather and avoid taking more than one or two clean shots at a time from the former multi-division world champion. Mayweather was highly cautious early, looking to figure out what Paul was going to bring to the ring and also attempting to avoid taking any clean shots from the YouTube star who was looking to land one. Paul entered the ring well over 30 pounds bigger with a 6-inch reach advantage. After paying, playing almost exclusively defense in the second round, Mayweather finally turned up the offense in the third, opening up with some clean left hooks that rocked Paul's head and back and forth, mixing in the occasional overhand right. I mean, you never know this guy, Paul said. I'm going home thinking, did Floyd let me survive? It's an honor and grace to be in the ring with him. This is the coolest thing ever. You're right, Logan, that was pretty cool and brave of you to step in a ring with little experience with one of the game's greatest and most experienced. And heck, you have the honor in saying that you lasted the whole fight. Whether he was pre- most more prepared or not prepared, he still lasted eight rounds with Floyd M- Money Mayweather and no one can take that away from you. So, overall, crazy Sunday filled with excitement for the future as far and some uh, rebuilding for the future for the Mavs. Excitement for what the Clippers can try and do heading into the series with the Utah Jazz, try and take down them to clinch their first ever conference finals appearance. And then, of course, Julio Jones is going to totally transform the Tennessee franchise to that next level that they need to get into the AFC and hopefully a Super Bowl appearance if they go that far. But they're going to have to get past that guy, Patrick Mahomes. And then, of course, just a really fun, entertaining fight between Logan Paul and Floyd Money Mayweather. I paid money for it because I thought it was entertaining, and it was entertaining for me. And I think uh, we, if we have some more little exhibitions like that, you don't have to pay for it. So don't bash on the fights. If people who want to be entertained will be entertained, and there were much, much people entertained, especially as we saw by the payout numbers for Logan and Mayweather. People want to watch it, and the so then the the boxing is going to give it. Hope you all enjoyed. You can catch it all and more on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and or YouTube, and I'll see you soon. Have a great day.